Welcome back to RCR Wireless News. I'm here now with Patrick Weisberg, the project manager in the electrical industry. Patrick, your team has designed and manufactured this trebuchet small cell tower, and now Mercury Communications is representing you in selling this tower. Can you tell us a little bit about the tower? Yeah, that's correct. We uh, The design initially came up with, uh, we were working with the positive train control program on the, with the Class 1 railroads uh, throughout the USA. Uh, they had a need for a a smaller lightweight tower that didn't need to be climbed. Uh, so the design allows the tower to be tilted over so the, all the, the tower top equipment, antennas, uh, what other equipment can be serviced from the ground. Uh, there were uh, some of the issues they were looking at, so it safely uh, comes to the gr uh, ground level. Uh, it is a, a real simple, easy conversion over to the same utilization for small cell and outdoor DAS applications. So we've got designs going from uh, 20 feet up to 80 feet. Uh, with wind speeds up to 120 mile an hour to so cover pretty much every you know, most of the locations throughout the U.S. So about how many deployments so far? Uh, we've got over 7,000 uh, deployed in the last four years on the railroad. Uh, we recently just uh, started converting over to the, the DAS and small cell. Quite a few applications with security cameras, uh, microwave, and other applications as well. Terrific. And how long have you been working with Mercury Communications? Uh, we've been working on this uh, for this last year was when we started developing a design specific for the small cell and the, and the outdoor DAS. And can you talk at all about uh, backhaul related to this, or is that is there a different type of backhaul that is more appropriate when you're working with this? Uh, it can it can be either one. Uh, we we have uh, uh, quite a few sites that have microwave backhaul on the tower itself. Uh, uh, a lot of the other designs for bringing fiber underneath, to re like a, on a more of a DAS system, so system structure. Work. Yep, both ap uh, applicable for both both types. Okay, terrific. And are there any certain parts of the country where you see more deployments, or everywhere? Um, see an increased need in uh, uh, difficult to zone places that are, are, are uh, restricted on height and, and footprint as well as urban areas. There's a good application for them. The other uh, uh, nice part about it is any of the stealthing solutions that can be added on to uh, just your, your more traditional straight tower can also be added on here. So you can, we can have it to where it looks like a light pole with the antennas being covered up and it can still be tilted over and service from the ground. Okay, so it can be camouflaged as a light pole. That's correct. But you can't really put a light on here and use it for that. Um, no, it'd be the, it would be no different from a, a, you know, a, a more traditional structure that's uh, you know, that you would need a man lift on. So we can put all those applications on here. You know, depending on what the design, of, you know, the loading is, it changes the tower design a little bit. But the, the overall concept of the tilt over uh, piece would, would still be there. Okay, great, Patrick Weisbrod. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you.